We're gonna have our beautiful lamb shanks, and then we're gonna uh, take some spices, coriander seeds. Um, we can just take this all. Uh, fennel seeds, a little bit of chili flake, and cumin seeds. And so this like, is for a, a, like a teaspoon of each or yeah, so? Yeah, exactly. Okay. And the recipe, I think, is going to be available on your website. Um, so just a quick toast just until these things are aromatic. Okay. Beautiful. And then we're going to take our lamb shanks here. Um, now these are beautiful lamb shanks. Unbelievable. And, and you can get these uh, from your butcher and uh, try to find a nice organic lamb, right? Absolutely. Are and you cooking all, with all organic ingredients? We do. And at Craigie, I mean, everything is as local as can be. Well, most of our lamb, and in Boston, obviously, we don't have lamb running around the city right. streets. But from Vermont, from Pennsylvania, sure. we have it brought in as close as we can. Yeah. So this oh, they is just, smell so good. Just aromatic. Oh, yeah. And then we're just going to put this literally right on top. And we've got some olive oil to help with the marinade. Mm. Uh, just a little bit of uh, white wine. So not the whole cup. Well, we can always add a little bit more. So I'm going to start here. A lot of herbs. You can't do too many herbs. Again, this is just the marinade. And we've got some cilantro, some parsley, some thyme. And the garlic And then we've cloves. got some garlic. I'm going to just crush quickly it, right? crush. This okay. is just a little trick. Um, whenever you see something that with a marinade or even a braise, and if you just crush something like this, it helps yes. really release the flavors. Should I, should I just tear these up, the, the orange That's peel? perfect. You're doing oh. a great job. So and then same thing here with the ginger. Just exactly a nice little... what you want. Oh, one, one got away. There we go. So we're going to crush that up, put it right in there. And then we're just going to quickly toss this around so we can marinate overnight. Salt and pepper? And we're going to season it with just a little bit of salt. We don't want to cook it ahead of time, and salt can do that, but it's going to help it absorb a lot of these flavors. Okay. And then we're just going to put this in the fridge overnight. Covered? Covered, okay. of course. Okay, so we'll cover that, put it away. Uh, we already have some that have been Absolutely. marinated. Absolutely. So we'll put over. those in the fridge. Okay. So here are our beautiful shanks. So we just wipe as much off as we possibly can. And what we're going to do now is we're going to roast them along with some vegetables to begin yes. our braise. Some people might sear. I like the flavor of roasting. It's a little bit more concentrated, just a little bit, a little you bit different. You didn't use all the didn't red use all, peppers. They're a little spicy. If we, um, we can always add a little bit more again with the marinade, oh, okay. but I thought that was adequate. Okay. So we're going to add a little bit of olive oil to our pan. And um, at the restaurant, we might roast these vegetables separately than the meat, but you can easily do this. Um, all so in you one just pan. got your second James Beard. Uh, I sure did. I was uh, congratulations. I was on vacation with my family in Paris, and I got a little text. It was a really nice text. Sounds great. Thank you very much. So we're gonna add um, the garlic, and again the ginger. That we're, you want to oh, smash that for yep, me? Definitely. So we have onions, carrots, fennel, garlic, ginger, all basically the same things. Some of them that were in the marinade, and we're gonna put mm. this on top. Oh, so you're using that like a, a roasting rack? Exactly. So this way, these develop um, a little bit of flavor. They get the juices from the lamb. These are healthy-sized lamb shanks. These sure are. These uh, look like giant sheep. Generally, <laughs> American shanks tend to be a little bit bigger, but I'd much rather buy something uh, locally. Right. So we're going to rub olive oil all over everything again, season with a little bit more salt and pepper, and roast them up. Okay. Here we go. You want to help me with some salt? Oh, yeah, okay. Perfect. Definitely. Thank you. Now I'll turn them. I love salt on lamb. Yeah. It just, it, it's so important on lamb um, it? and garlic. You know, lamb in France is generally from the southwest and Bordeaux and that area, and it's famous for their salts too. So it kind of goes hand in hand, which is kind of neat. So into what temperature oven? So we're going to roast these at 450 degrees. It takes about 20, 25 minutes until we get a little bit of color. Okay. So, so we have some that have already been roasted because of uh, time. And there, Here we there go. they are. They're so beautiful. And look at these. Nice, got nice color oh, on the yeah. vegetables and our shanks. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to remove um, the shanks from this pan, and we're going to deglaze. We're going to add a little bit of um, tomato paste. If you had some crushed tomatoes. Well, now, how come they don't have the vegetables underneath? Because they didn't do it right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to drive any bus over your crew. They did a great job. But this is fantastic. So we're oh, so take... they sauteed the vegetables, I think. Exactly. OK. So we're going to add this to the pan. What's that, tomato this paste? This is tomato paste. OK. And we're going to just cook this out a little is bit. Is on? Can okay. Turn it on for me. Yeah. And then deglaze with some white wine. Mm. And we would add a little bit of white wine to these as well. And we're just going to. Bring both of these up till they begin to just simmer. Just looks so good. Smells really great. Um, we're gonna scrape the bottom of this pan, getting all these crispy bits. Anytime you're braising something, these leftover bits add such a dimension of flavor. And when do all these spices go in? So, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna scrape this and we're gonna let this cook off. Okay. And as I was saying, it's just so easy, even with all these ingredients. The jarosa in this case has um, dates. Dried figs, figs, prunes, apricots, and we're literally just going to put them all right into the braise. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then, Beautiful. 
And they're gonna plump up. And they're gonna plump up and absorb all this great stuff. And then over here, going along with the set, we've got some slivered almonds, pistachios, walnuts, some raisins. How beautiful. All right in. So those are all the ingredients that you might have on the platter. On the Moroccan oh, yeah. set. Right. Oh, look at this. So we'll turn that it off and we'll scrape so that right in. Smells so good. And then here we've got a sachet, or basically a little bundle of some herbs, uh, cilantro, thyme, parsley. Do you want these sticking up or should they be down? Um, However is most natural for okay. them. So in this case, it looks like that'll be fine as long now, as the top Where do all on. these spices go? And continuing More cumin, on. fennel, coriander, and pepper. Exactly. So the marinade is related to everything oh, okay. that we're doing in the braise. And can go right in. So they don't have to be toasted. Um, they're going to heat up enough in okay. this, and I think we did toast them ahead of time. Oh, okay. Should so I add the rest of this wine? That sounds perfect. And we'll get okay. the rest of that little bits on there. Right. Do you want to scrape it for me? Yes. Nice little okay, so Dutch that's oven. Good. Yeah. yeah, so I get all that great flavor. Good. Right in there. Okay. Okay, and now we're gonna add our stock. Oh, good. Three cups of chicken stock. Now this is your homemade chicken stock. Absolutely. The same stock that you would be using for your chicken soup. Yeah, we make at Kriya, I mean, of course, we make mm -hmm. our homemade stock. I would certainly recommend you use um, a homemade stock as well. If you had to use a, a low sodium, you know, store bought organic stock, that'd be fine. So um, bring that to a simmer. So we're gonna bring this to a simmer and we can put... Mm, um, I'm gonna stick that down in the yeah. liquid. If we had the top handy, that'd be great, but we could cover that up and bring that to a simmer and then okay. we'll put that into the oven, uh, 325. Oh, I like, so all the nuts, uh, do the nuts cook down? Or? Absolutely, and they get oh. really, really soft. So then yeah. what you're left with is this. But look what happens. How long is, do they turn this uh, color? So it's about three hours. Three for the hours braise. they turn this gorgeous dark color. That's what lamb shanks really, really should Really beautiful. Look like. And then you're left with, you know, what oh. we call the guts of this, which are all those nuts and dried fruits. And what we're going to do is instead of taking the leftover braising liquid and have to reduce it and taking time and really watching it, thicken it with this that. is going to thicken it and you're going to oh, have this definitely. great flavor. Mm, so we, how beautiful. You can just smell that and you can see in here oh, yeah. how beautiful that is. So what we've done is at the restaurant um, this year, we're serving these shanks. Look at the sauce. Oh, it's Isn't that beautiful. delicious? Uh, so uh, what's that This on is there? a Jerusalem artichoke puree. Oh, um, you any could, potato in there? Um, or just pu pure? There's a little bit of potato others. in the Jerusalem artichoke puree, just really, really simple. But we could also serve it over sinus, the traditional uh, sweet potato and carrot mix. And hold, Put that on hold. Top. do you do it with the bone in? I absolutely do. We yes. like to be a little rustic and use your fingers. Uh, oh, I love the bone. Yeah. So, so now we're going to put this on this now, plate. And what about the sauce? Sauce so right on top. Look at that. Falling that off the bone tender. Yeah. So gorgeous. 